Hello everybody, today we're going to take a look at these Clipsal, um, let's see, 30 USB CM uh, mechanisms. Okay, now these are um, USB uh, mechanisms that Clipsal sell. These are suitable for Clipsal and Delta switches and power points. Okay, so um, what these allow you to do is they allow you to, um, to plug a USB type A device into a standard power point um, uh, enclosure. Okay, and they're also used for charging mobile phones. Okay, it's what they recommend you do. Okay, because it says clearly says on here recommend that if you see on here, they recommend that you just use for charging only. But I do believe they'll work other things. Okay, so um, so these are um, simple. Okay, the USB Type A. I don't know if Clips will have these in USB Type C as of yet, but I'm pretty sure they will make it in that. Okay, now these ones here are white. This part here comes off and you actually get it in different colors to suit the um the plate that you have okay because these clips or plates come in various colors they come in red gr red green black white cream sand color brown um blue and all that so if you have different colors and you want this to be the same color as this then you can simply just buy a different colored part okay now these usb mechanisms are cost about 40 dollars each they're not really cheap but they're worth it Okay, um, I got two of them here, so this is about eighty dollars worth of mechanisms here. So there you go. All right, so the way these work is, I have two wires here. Okay, so you simply just wire it into your standard two forty volt household power supply, and then so you got a neutral and a live. There's no worthing. Okay, probably because it's all plastic. There's no metal. Okay, they come with the wires pre sheared, so you just need to pull these parts off, and then you just wire it in. Okay. Um, so the input of this is just 240 volt and the output is 5 volts, okay, and um, so it puts out about 5 volts of power and it's um, 1.2 amp, alright. So the way, so to put these in, okay, you'll have your, um, your plate here, so to put the USB in, um, depending on which way, you can put it in this way or that way, okay, depends probably which way you're mounting your, um, your switch. So you basically just push it in, <coughs> like so. And that's what it will look like. Okay. So that's what it looks like when it's put in that. Okay. Now you can get multiple of them. So you can probably have it. You can have these come up to six. So you can have up to six of these. Okay. So you can charge up to six phones at a time. Okay. Depending on what where you are. Okay. It will also work in the power points with the extra switches. Like um, it will work in your single extra switch or your double extra switch versions. Okay. And I'll just show you that. Okay, let me just pop this out. To get this out, you just need a flat blade and you just lever it out, like so. All right, so I'll just pop, install it in one of these to show you that it will work in these. So that comes off. Okay, you just pop it in here. And that's what it looks like in there. Okay, so you can pop it in your um, horizontal power point with um, your extra switch. It will also work in the two extra switch one as well. I'll just show you that. So I'll just pop this back in there. Okay, it will also work in the one with the um, two extra switches. So what you do is you basically just pop these switch mechanisms out. Okay, like so. You take a flat blade and you just pull them out. Okay, you just pull those out. Okay, now all I'm going to do is just tighten up this screw here because it will probably be in the way. Well, these are tight too. Something to expect because usually brass tends to be stiff. Okay, so we can install two of these into this. Install one here. And pop the other one in here. And there we go. So you've got two USB slots there, so you can charge two, two, at, two at a time. Okay, so that's one cool thing about it. So you can actually have it like this if you want to just charge two. Okay, another thing that you can do... Another thing is you can actually have it have a switch in there. I'll just pull this out. Sometimes these are a bit tight, it's too hard to get out because they are because these clips or things tend to have really tight tolerances. There we go. What you can do is you can do this, or you can have it like that. Okay, or you can actually, if you want to, you can actually wire this into the switch so you can have the switch controlling that, so you can actually switch that on and off. Okay, so that's what you can do. If you want that to have a switch control, you can simply just do this and you can have it switch on and off with the mechanism. Okay, um, it will also fit in these arc trafe plates as well. I'll just quickly show you that. So for the arc, since this is black, what I want to do is I'll get a black cover for that and I can just simply 
pop that in, but it would have a black cover on it, okay? So that would look black. But if you don't wanna have it black, if for all your Collingwood fans, you wanna just have it like that, that's completely up to you, okay? And then you just simply wire it in. So it'll work in, um, it'll work for your, um, your full size wall plate, it'll work with your power points, it'll also work in your arc tray switches. So that is um, the cool thing about it. So you can have these set up everywhere, probably everywhere throughout your, um, your building or your house. Okay, so if you want to um, do that, you can. So that is the Clipsaw um, 30 USB CM uh, mechanisms. Okay, so um, if you want it, if, if you do want one and you want to purchase one, you can. Um, be aware that they are that they sell for around forty dollars each, so they are not cheap. So if you were to purchase six, just and that will be three times eighty, so that is quite a lot of money. Okay, so depending on how many you have. Okay, so if you go further than six, what you can simply do is buy the flush surrounds, and you can actually have four four sixes. So you can have that's quite a lot. Okay, so that's a benefit of these cool USB mechanisms made by Clipsal. So these are USB Type A. Okay, they're not for USB Type C, but you, I'm pretty sure you can just use a USB -S A to USB C adapter. So if you want to charge USB C on it, you can. Okay, so um, so yeah, so that's what it will work. It'll work for the um, horizontal, vertical light switches and power points made by Clipsal. Um, now be aware that um, Clipsal do actually sell these power points with the USB mechanisms. Okay, pre-installed. Okay, so you can actually buy the two mechanism like I showed you just before. Okay, so you can 